A similar one, a person took a practice test from their school and they were advised that anything that they got below a 70 to work on. Now, you know, 80,000 series, you got a 70, 90,000 a 70, anatomy 50. So, I mean, these scores here, you know, are, what, what they tell me is that you spread your time out pretty well um, versus getting like a 20 in one of the sections. Now, anatomy and medical terminology were a little, oops, what I do, are a little low. I went to the next slide. Um, and that is common sometimes with people that take a coding course. They have not taken a um, medical terminology and anatomy course ahead, which the AAPC does recommend. I recommend, do you have to? No. Can some people pass that? Absolutely. Um, but there is no medical terminology or no um, dictionary on the AAPC exam. And even if there was, it would slow you down if you had to look up everything. So um, I would get some anatomy um, flashcards or medical terminology. Again, you can Google it. I, I did this um, last night when I was looking at this question. I just want um, anatomy flashcard free. And you'd be amazed at what's out there. Um, there they are. Just just go there and this happens to be the product that we use. And they've got some free ones and you know go back and you know when you find one you like bookmark it and just keep you know practicing. Um, as far as other areas, no, I wouldn't say you know one over the rest. I would work on your speed and you know do practice tests. You know, practice, practice, practice. Um, I don't see any you know content areas that are you know that much worse than the others, and you're, you're very close.